Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here with another video. Um, this one is about ad accounts, why they're important, and what you should be thinking about ad accounts. Um, I, get, I guess everything just to do with them because it's quite a uh, complex topic. It took me a long time to uh, figure out what ad accounts are, how to use them for an agency, um, etc. So this is more just like an informational video and a tutorial about how to structure your agency uh, using Business Manager and when you have clients, what to do. So here I am in Business Manager, as you can see. Um, okay, and in Business Manager, I, I don't want to go over Business Manager. I'm sure most of you guys understand it or use it. If you're not using Business Manager, start using it straight away. Um, but if we click on business settings over here, we can see uh, pages and ad accounts uh, and people. So we have three of us on our business manager, but um, if we go to pages, we can see all the pages that are connected to uh, this business manager account. Under ad accounts, uh, you can see all the ad accounts that are connected to this business manager account. So every Facebook page or every Facebook uh, account has an associated ad account, right? When you have a business manager account, you can actually make new ad accounts uh, which are associated to your business manager. Um, and the reason this is important is because you should be making a new ad account for every new client you get. So if you get a client, for instance, Bethel Woods, you should be making a new ad account called Bethel Woods. So this is an ad account called Bethel Woods. This is not the page called Bethel Woods. Um, we do this because um, we run ads on our business manager through the Bethel Woods ad account. Um, so there then becomes a problem of what if you have, I think there's a limit on the amount of ad accounts that you can have. Um, I think it might be three, right? So when you first create a Facebook business manager, you're only allowed three accounts. Um, I think that might be the limit. No, two. You're only allowed two. Um, and that's a problem because what if you've got four clients, then you can't create your own ad account per client because your limit is stuck at two. The way to increase your ad account uh, limit um, is by running ads on all the ad accounts which you have access to um, for about a week. So I think you have to spend a minimum of five or ten dollars a day on all of your ad accounts for a week before your ad account limit jumps up. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the way I did it, but uh, first you need to know how many ad accounts you have access to. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, if you just go up here in business settings, you scroll down to business info, you're going to see here, ad account creation limit. I can create up to 80 ad accounts right now, and I'm not going to need more than 80 for a long time. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, 80 is good. But when you first start, this will say two, or it might say five. And I mean, that's not enough if you're really trying to grow an agency. Um, so you need to get more. Uh, the way to do it is what I just said earlier, or what you can do is go to www. Let's just go www.facebook.com forward slash business forward slash, I think it's resources. So facebook.com forward slash business forward slash resources. And down here, you're going to go uh, find answers or contact support. You're going to go uh, get started and you're going to go uh, ads. And then you're going to go chat with the representative. And you can see the wait time is, you know, it's, your wait times are all going to be different, but they're going to tell you what the wait time is down here. Uh, once you click this, Facebook Messenger is going to open and you're going to be able to chat with a support staff member from Facebook um, via messenger so then you need to type the support staff saying hey guys my name is daniel i run an agency based in auckland new zealand 
we help businesses run Facebook ads. Part of our business uh, model is creating a new ad account for each client we get. I'm reaching out to you to, um, to seek help for increasing my ad account creation limit on my business manager. Then they're gonna ask you, what's your business manager uh, number, your business manager account number, and it's this one up in the URL at the top here. So you send them that number, then they'll clarify that for you. Um, and then they're either gonna say, okay, we'll increase your limit from two to five, um, or maybe if you're at five, they're gonna say, uh, we can't increase it anymore. You're gonna have to run ads on all five accounts uh, for at least a week. Um, and then the Facebook system is going to naturally increase your ad account creation limit. So that's why you should be creating your own ad account um, for each new client. Um, and no, sorry, that's how you do it. The reason why is because all the ads that you run for your client should be managed within your business manager and it's your IP. So the targeting options in which you run your Facebook ads for your client, um, the, uh, the, yeah, the targeting options is the biggest thing. That's the intellectual property you have as an agency owner. Rather than using your client's ad, ad manager account, they're gonna be able to see all the ads you run, which you don't want that, and you need to say, look, I'm providing a service, and this service has intellectual property, so I'm going to uh, run ads off a new ad manager account, which I create under my business manager. They're not gonna understand what you're talking about, but just say we're creating a new ad account and this is why. Also, an ad account, um, the reason you should create your own ad account per client, and the biggest reason for me, this is the main reason why I did it, is because let's say I have a client like Bethel Woods, for example, um, I might, I might uh, have a $400 a month Facebook ads budget for them. Uh, with that $400 per month, um, I can put a spend limit on the ad account that I run for Bethel Woods. So every month, uh, oh, once the um, once you create the ad account, you can put a spend limit of $400. So whenever your ad account hits $400, it's going to stop and then it would reset. So you're not going to uh, continuously spend over and over um, the budgeted amount that you invoice your client for um, because that can lead to a problem of you losing profitability because you're overspending uh, more than you charge your client for Facebook ads. So you can put locks on each of your client's ad accounts. So you're never gonna spend more on this ad account than whatever uh, you build your client for. And the way you do that is you go view payment methods. Once you've clicked on the new ad account in which you've created for your client, um, and then it's under payment settings. So it's just gonna open up. And then you're going to go here and you're going to um, uh, create a ad account spend limit. So the limit here for me is $382. Um, that's the amount in which I'm going to spend for this client um, and it's not gonna go over that, which is awesome. Um, so that's the big reason, that's the big reason. Um, this sort of naturally leads into another conversation, which is, should you be uh, running ads off your client's credit card or off your own business's credit card? Most people run ads off their client's credit card, which means that uh, they'll put a spend limit on their client's ad account in which they create in their business manager. Um, but all the billing is gonna be uh, directly uh, pulled out every $382 that you spend on your client's credit card. So under payment methods, um, you would put your client's credit card details. So you would sit down with them and say, uh, you know, what's your credit card number? What's the expiry date? What's the name on the card? And you would put it here under payment methods. But I don't do that. I bill my clients every month in, in that bill, I bill them my fee plus an ad, ad spend. Um, the reason I do that is because I take a 10% fee off the ad spend in which I charge my client. So if I charge them $500, I'm gonna take $50 fee 
uh, out of that ad spend fee. And then I'm also going to pay for many chat from that fee in which I charge them. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have to pay for many chat and any other associated softwares in the pricing uh, in which you pass on uh, to your client. So if you bill them $600 a month, uh, you might be paying $40 a month for many chat. Uh, so then you're actually only making um, $560 before all your other expenses come into play. Whereas I can just go and bill my client $550 and then uh, charge them $450 ad spend. Whereas I'm taking a fee of uh, $45, 10% of the ad spend, plus I'm paying for the mini chat costs um, from that ad spend limit. That's the way I do it and it works for me. Um, these are a couple of technical issues in the agency game and building up this business and what you need to think about. But this is the way I do it. This is the way you should be doing it because the more you can systematize and segment this business, the more successful you're going to be because you're going to hit a point where you're going to start running into capacity issues. Um, and when you get there, you need to have uh, all your ducks in a row. Everything needs to be systematized. So when you bring on a new client, you get all the client details, you add them to the business manager, you add appropriate people to uh, the business manager um, for their page, you create a new ad account, you uh, put the payment method in that you're gonna pay for the ads, you're going to uh, set an ad account spend limit, then you're gonna move in and build out all the mini chat flows, set up any content which you need to have scheduled, you're gonna set up all your sequencing in mini chat, uh, then you're going to um, create your Google Sheets um, and then uh, blah, 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 blah. Everything that you do for a client needs to be regimented, tested. And so you know each new client I bring on with confidence I'm going to make this much profit at the end of it because that's the name of the game. So the more you can systematize all this stuff and Facebook is part of the things that you need to systematize, the better you're going to be. Um, this is a big brain dump. It's just been on my mind and I thought it would help you guys out. So I'm going to leave it here before the video gets too long. But um, I hope that helps some of you. Uh, yeah, leave any comments below and I'll try to help you guys out. Cheers.